Hey guys, Trisha with my Trisha advisor. Today we are in Isla Mujeres and I have a friend that I've met up with. She's been following my Trisha advisor for over two years and she said, hey, you're in Isla, I wanna show you around. So today's video, we're gonna show you some of, um, maybe some hidden local spots to check out and other places you should go like Punta Sur. about 12 ferries going and coming from Isla Mujeres to and from Isla Mujeres but right now they only have four going and five coming back so be aware of your ferry schedule and the other thing is the price so we paid it's about 400 pesos 420 pesos each person for round trip and it's better to buy round trip than it is to buy one way so it's $15 one way or 22 round trip so that's my little tip buy buy round trip if you're gonna stay there for a while it's up to six months and you can come back on that same ticket very happy to say that we've been staying at this beautiful condo it's like a loft um, it's a two bedroom two bathroom condo Amy and her husband Mike invited us to stay here um, to be able to show the condo and um, basically they are retiring in eight years is their goal so they bought this place so in the meantime number one they can visit and rent it in the meantime and so I'm super happy to be a part of making their dream of living in Isla Mujeres come to life as well. So if you guys are interested in a two bedroom, two bathroom condo, you can go to the website below and put Trish Advisor and you'll get 10% off of your stay of three nights or more. But let me show you this place and the view. Check this out. This is the little house you buy the tickets from and then right there at the point, where is it? There it is. Right all the way at the end are the little Mayan ruins. We're not going in there today because we're kind of hop skipping and jumping around. But let me tell you, this view is absolutely worth it. And then we're actually having drinks over at the restaurant that has the umbrellas. So I would definitely have spend an afternoon here um, or a morning even because the views are stunning. And also you're able to just uh, have lunch, have drinks and visit a little Mayan ruin and see beautiful views. Absolutely stunning. Isla Mujeres 
Sundays recently suffered a fire that took out multiple businesses. I wanted to uh, bring this up because in both of my Isla Mujeres videos, I'll put a link below um, of a GoFundMe page that's raising funds to help the, um, the business owners, but it included a spa, a few restaurants, and a bunch of retailers. Um, already looks like that they've done a lot of work and they're working today on it as well. So I wanted to show you guys this and what happened. And if you feel led to help out the community, please donate to the GoFundMe page. So now we are in Playa Norte. This is called North Beach. This is the area where you'll find a lot of people normally. Now I will say, now that we're in phase orange, it's definitely busy, but not normally like it would be. But I can tell that every chair that they do have out is pretty full. But this is the place that you'll wanna come to hang out on the beach, take a swim, and there's even snorkeling in the area as well. day trips that come out here from the whale sharks to the catamaran tours they always do a stop in North Beach because the beaches are beautiful and you'll see a lot of the catamarans the yachts and all that right off of the shore so right now we are at a place called North Garden it's like a great breakfast and lunch place, very jungly, beautiful tree right in the center of the restaurant. The first thing that we've ordered is, well, I've ordered a smoothie, which is a coconut smoothie, the shrimp tacos, and also the erechera sandwich, and they both look amazing. There's no bus stops. There's just pick you up on the side of the road. Whatever route they're on, they'll pick you up and drop you off wherever you want. So don't look for a bus stop. Just look for a bus, jump on, and when you want to get off, you just say Baja. So we're going to enter Garafón de Castilla. So we've entered, we've paid our 100 pesos. The place has a bar, your snorkel equipment, beach chairs, showers, all that included. So I just asked her where the best place to snorkel is. And look at this, you guys. This is so beautiful. You can see the reef, just pieces of the reef right here. So now we are stopping at the Isla Mujeres Women's Beating Co-op. This is a very small little tienda that has full of beaded jewelry that these women make on site. And these ladies make all the beads and kids. They said it's children and women that make the jewelry. So each one you can see has a different name and then whoever made the piece gets the credit or the money made towards it i got the little flamingos how cute is that and look on my wrist Next stop is a beach club that is more than a beach club. It's like got a little bit of everything included, but it's called Captain Dolce. 
So it includes a pool, cabanas, uh, two bars, restaurant, and an amazing place for snorkeling. There is a ship with a sail in the middle of the Palapa. Keenha restaurant has a pool, bar, volleyball, uh, snorkeling, and it's right next to where we're staying. So it looks really beautiful, and uh, I think you guys will really like this place if you come visit. So these guys recognize me from my YouTube channel. Shot. So now we go do shots. <laughs> Gracias. Oh wait, is me? Okay. Yep. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna be looking this up later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Gracias. Salud. The joint is a super cool bar that we were able to chill at. We had some drinks, we listened to some music, and uh, they were playing some, some good uh, reggae music. The only thing I regret is we didn't try the food because after we left, everybody told us we had to try the food. So it's a reason we need to come back. Now we head off to Musa. Musa is an underwater museum that is located between Cancun and Isla Mujeres. The depths of the water range anywhere from 20 to up to 60 feet. While snorkeling, you can see all kinds of different types of structures or um, statues that are in lines of people, tons of people. You'll see pieces of reef growing off of them because this was all built to promote the reef growth in the area. If you are interested in a tour to Musa, in the description box below, see the information on how to contact me to book the tour. the soggy peso and we now both have the margaritas <laughs> and we got the crispy tacos so the crispy tacos is what they're really famous for as well as the margarita and that's if you can get out of here without walking out of here I guess with one or two let's see but the crispy taco is just kind of like what it is in the US which would be a very American type of taco crispy on the outside meat on the inside lettuce and cheese. It does look del delicious, I will say. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, taste of Iowa. Right there. <laughs> really? It must be the beef. <laughs> So I definitely say when at the Soggy Peso, come out to the pier. This is a great time. It's about 6.45. Look at this beautiful sunset. So 
I will say definitely the margarita is very strong. I'm not even halfway through it. And let me tell you, uh, I'm gonna figure out if I'm gonna be walking out of here or roll me out of here or I'm gonna be dancing on the bar. But the food was good, the drinks are good. Definitely a place you guys need to visit. Isla Mujeres is the land of beautiful sunsets, sunrises, and absolutely gorgeous shores. If you've only done a day trip, I strongly suggest to at least stay two or three nights. 